going on guys? I uh, wanted to make this quick video. Um, just if you need any assistance, this is gonna be for March, week two Friday. Uh, so the, the structure of the workout is gonna be um, two minutes stations times two. You have two different movements. Each movement is gonna be for one minute. Okay, you're gonna complete one, the first movement or the top one, and then you're gonna go to the bottom one uh, if there is one. And then you're gonna repeat that round a second time. Okay, so the first combo we've got on the bags, we've got two back stations, gonna be uh, backhand uppercut hook, backhand uppercut hook, and then this short jack cross keeping the bag up at an angle. So while you're backhand uppercut, uh, uppercut hook, you wanna make sure you direct everybody to stand off center to the bag. Okay, bring that opposite hand up, it's gonna be your, your uh, uppercut hand. Now that backhand needs to stay nice and tight, you don't wanna get away from the hand, so make sure you keep that hand over the chest. Okay, they're gonna lead and step, pivoting that rear foot. Okay, that's gonna start your backhand, come right to your uppercut, and then come finish off with the hook. So when you speed it up, it's gonna look like okay, everything stays nice and tight. We're gonna keep them on that same side for the whole first minute. Then you're gonna go right into that same stance, into your jab cross short last, kind of up. So keep the bag at an angle. So when you shorten it up a little bit, keep that bag consistently up at an angle. Okay. The second time you come around, you're gonna do everything on the other side. So now you're gonna go have your back hand here, uppercut, hook, and then do your jab cross, uh, keeping the bag up for that second round. Okay, second back stitch is gonna be a one, one, two, three, four combination, jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, okay, for the first minute. Second minute is gonna be the reverse lunge with front kick. So your jab, jab, cross, hook, uppercut. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, finish up with that. So slow it down for them, just have them start off. They're gonna have a minute so they can really take their time. And make sure that they're taking each punch, bringing that hand back in. One, two, three, four. Okay. Second part, you're gonna go reverse lunge to kick. Now when you're kicking, you wanna keep that bottom half of the bag. So make sure that you step back, put those hands up. And then as you're coming up, you just boom, just kick that bag. Do not direct them to push the bag into the wall, but rather try to like just drop kick. Okay? So you can kick it a little bit there, kind of kicking it in a downward motion. Just snap it, boom, right in there. Boom, reverse lunge, boom, right there. Okay, then from there, gloves are off. We're going to that med ball that we were just talking about. So here we go, med ball, mid jab, high jab, or mid jab, mid jab, high jab. On that one, you're gonna be holding a lighter, probably a lighter med ball, and you wanna give that, you wanna direct them to get distance so they can move forward and back. We're gonna hold that med ball up in your fighting stance. So it's gonna be a little awkward at first, once they get going, they'll get it. It's gonna go mid jab, mid jab, high jab. And then I want them moving back a little bit, keeping that, that ball close. Okay, again, mid jab, mid jab, high jab. And then take, take a step back. So you want them to shuffle back and forth. That shuffle time going back gives them a little bit of a uh, chance to rest their shoulders. Second round, all we're gonna do is switch sides and do the same thing. Mid jab, mid jab, high jab, and then come on back, okay? But from there, we're gonna use other wall balls and we're gonna go to our wall balls for the first minute, and then your med ball squat half burpee. So the first one, wall ball, okay, direct them to make sure you squat, catch the ball at the highest point, and squat down, get them high, as high as you can. Obviously, they'll be using a heavier weight for this one, not a 10, okay? But uh, then you're gonna go med ball squat half burpee. So on that one, you wanna have the ball under them, okay? And they're gonna go ahead and go, go down to squat, here, you want them to try to get low, get direct them to touch their butts down to the ball per the workout. Okay, and then from there, they're gonna hop back, do their half burpee off the ball, come back up into that squat. Here, boom, here, top. Okay, and squat each time. Okay. And then you're gonna repeat that one for a second time. Then you go dumbbell squat jack cross. Okay? Follow that up with a squat jump with the same weights. So your, your dumbbell squat, you're gonna actually be holding these guys here. You wanna direct them to keep them up in the, at the face, kind of like almost like a front rack. Keep them here, and as soon as you squat in the bottom, just one, two, and you come back up. Here, one, two, and you come back up. Okay, your second one, now you just wanna hold those either to the side, or you can rack them, it's up to you, and then you're just gonna go squats, or jump squats non-stop for one minute, okay? Now, I didn't specify on here, but you don't wanna have them go too heavy because they're gonna be jumping, okay? 
and I think that wraps it up. Oh, we've got one more. Reverse crunch and then tricep extension push up. Reverse crunch here on the ground. Then we're going to go ahead and pull those knees in and then try to crunch all the way up and get those elbows to touch the knees. Then you come back out. Cart legs back in, right back out. All right, keeping the lower back flat. And the last part is going to be tricep extension push up. Starting off in a push up position. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and go right into here. Okay, right back up, right into here. Okay, so on that one, you're gonna to have to direct them that they gotta move your feet a little bit. They have to kind of walk into that position, otherwise your hips will come up, and you don't want them to be moving their hips too much. So that's our that's gonna be our six rounds. Remember, one minute of each movement times two. So you come back and do it again, and then you rotate to the next station. I hope it helps, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions.